Today's review is on the new Audio Engine A1 wireless bookshelf speaker. The Audio Engine A1 is a compact yet powerful all in one speaker system that's outfitted with the latest and greatest Bluetooth 5.0 and Aptex. You can also connect this with turntables, TVs, and a subwoofer. We can't wait to tell you more about how this performs. And as always, if you want to read more about the Audio Engine A1, be sure to click the link in the description to be taken to our full written review on audiovice.com. Along with this review, you'll find hundreds of other reviews, comparisons, buyer's guides, and so much more. Now let's get started. At AudioVice, we are big fans of Audio Engine, and we've had the pleasure of reviewing several of their products before they were released. The company was founded by two music fans who each have worked at companies like Apple, Gibson Guitars, Alesis, and Harman Kardon. With their deep knowledge of technology and musical instruments, the founders created Audio Engine to help people discover more music and appreciate it with the best sound quality. Today, Audio Engine makes a complete line of products that deliver professional studio monitor sound without the hassle of big clunky multi-component stereo receivers. In today's review, the Audio Engine A1 Wireless is one of the newest products from Audio Engine to deliver this level of studio quality sound right onto your work desk or your living room space. Our test unit arrived in a dark matte gray color that will look great in a wide variety of workstations or small open living spaces. We like the studio monitor look of the new A1 without the grill, but it does look really good with the grill too. With a turntable or computer position between this pair of speakers, we think you'll have a professional looking studio monitor setup when you remove the grill. The enclosure stands 6 inches tall, 4 inches wide, and 5 and a quarter inches deep. There's a horizontal venting port on the lower facade just below the woofer, and similar to the more expensive A2 Plus, the new A1 speaker houses custom designed components within a well-constructed cabinet. The speaker features a 2 and 3 quarter inch woofer complemented with a 3 quarter inch tweeter. The internal dual class D power amps are wrapped inside precision tuned cabinets which Audio Engine designed in their own facility based in Austin, Texas. The left speaker houses the amplifier and all the output and input connections, so it weighs about 4 pounds and the right speaker weighs close to 3 pounds. We think the small compact size of this setup makes it the perfect go-to system for a desk in your office, a tabletop in your living room, or even in your bedroom. In the box, there's a male mini jack to male RCA adapter included. This can be used with turntables that have a built-in photo stage. For anyone who's getting interested in turntables, this is a great addition. On the back of the left speaker, there's a volume control knob, a push button switch to toggle the Bluetooth pairing mode on or off, a 3.5 mini plug input to connect a laptop, cell phone, portable music player, or a turntable. There's also an output for a subwoofer and a set of speaker connections to wire up the right speaker. No USB input needed here. Bluetooth already takes care of things. So once you get the left speaker all connected, you just run the speaker wire to the right speaker and you're ready to rock and roll. What really sets the new A1 apart is the addition of Bluetooth 5.0, which gives you a wireless operating range of up to 100 feet if you pair the speaker system to your phone. Not only will the A1 work much farther away from your audio source, but Bluetooth 5.0 lets you stream the same audio source to multiple Bluetooth headphones or speakers at the same time. Bluetooth 5.0 is also more efficient, so it will actually consume less battery with any Bluetooth devices you pair with this. Audio Engine didn't stop here when it built a wireless speaker with the latest Bluetooth iteration though. So Audio Engine used Qualcomm's Aptex Bluetooth technology which is designed to sound substantially better than standard Bluetooth. So think music that's more detailed with tighter bass and clearer mid-range. In terms of audio playback, this also means you can Bluetooth music directly to the A1 wireless from your phone or your laptop natively up to 16-bit 48 kilohertz, which is higher than CD quality. The only downside with Aptex is that it requires a device that's compatible to hear the full potential of Aptex. Currently, the iPhone doesn't support Aptex, but most Android phones and tablets do. Apple iOS devices can still connect to this with a regular Bluetooth signal. At AudioVice, we find that most people use bookshelf and desktop speakers with computer setups. However, we've noticed an uptick in people using Audio Engine bookshelf speakers with entry-level turntables too, so I tested the new A1 wireless in a few different scenarios. 
First, I allowed our test unit to break in with a stereo mini plug connected to my laptop, and I have to say I was impressed, especially with the stereo imaging. Next, I tried the A1 as a wireless speaker system in an open room setting, and finally as a near field setup stationed on my computer desk. For our open room tests, I streamed high quality audio from an iPhone to the A1 wireless over regular Bluetooth. Overall, the mids and highs shine clearly and the soundstage filled my smaller room with good quality sound that would be more than suitable for cooking or any activity where music is playing in the background. Next, I wanted to test the sound of the Aptek, so I used a Google Pixel 3 to stream Cobas directly to the A1 wireless. This is where the clarity of details and the A1's imaging really opened up. Further testing of the A1's Bluetooth capabilities called for the Project Essential 3 Bluetooth turntable as an audio source, which is a great entry-level turntable that also supports Aptex. Even though this digitized the analog signal of the vinyl record, we were all really impressed with the quality of the experience. If you have a smaller space, we still recommend using the 3.5mm mini plug to RCA adapter for the best sound quality. Moving the speakers a little further apart from each other will also help spread the stereo image to sound better in a larger room. As bookshelf speakers go, there's really no argument that these were designed to sound the best when listening at close proximity. In this scenario, you'll want to form an equilateral triangle with the speakers so you're at equal distance from the speakers. We also have a video that's going to guide you exactly how to achieve the best sound with a computer setup, so be sure to check that out. As a work from home setup, we were impressed with the A1 stereo imaging. As near field monitors, the A1 presented a warm sound with clear mid range and good musical low end energy that helped me feel energized while working from my home. Details in the top end extension were clear and they didn't sound overbearing or harsh. Due to the small size of these speakers, there's not a ton of bass, however the bass that does come out is very good for being such small speakers. The Audio Engine A1 wireless speakers are a great addition for almost any setup for the size and the price. Similar to Audio Engine's more expensive A2 Plus, the new A1 wireless is small and will benefit from adding a subwoofer to present more bottom end weight. We think the Audio Engine S8 sub is an excellent addition for this system. This is one of the best sounding entry point options we've ever listened to at this price. For less than $200, it's the perfect solution for someone getting interested in vinyl or who wants the modern conveniences of Bluetooth 5.0 with the quality of Aptex. If you have any questions on the A1 or any other home audio or home theater gear, be sure to give us a call, chat with one of our experts at audioadvice.com, or stop into one of our Raleigh or Charlotte, North Carolina showrooms. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on the latest home audio or home theater content. And until then, we'll see you next time.